Shavua Tov, everybody. Just uh, hope everybody's safe and sound and wish everybody a wonderful, blessed week ahead. Couldn't help thinking last week, as I'm sure many of you were, we were also preparing our home for the new reality that we find ourselves in. Uh, the kids were getting used to, like, at home schooling, receiving their lessons from their teachers online. I was busy organizing my office here to make sure that I can teach from my little study upstairs. Ruthie was preparing her classes and, uh, and her, her school shirim and lectures for her kids. Uh, she was recording those and uh, couldn't help but think how it seems to really relate to the Pasha that we learned, read last week about the Jewish people pre preparing and building their Mishkan, their tabernacle. And we know that actually today's times without a Mishkan, without a tabernacle, especially if we don't have a shul to go to, it actually, our sages tell us, is that our home, our families, our home, become the Mikdash Ma'at, become the small little sanctuary that is a microcosm of the bigger sanctuary. And as we learned the Pasha and read about how the Jewish people built and prepared the great big sanctuary to house and uh, let Hashem's presence dwell in, so we were preparing our, our little sanctuary at home. Then this morning, actually, I started reading the next week's Pasha as we begin the book of Ayikra with Pasha's Ayikra. And you see quite clearly that the Torah tells us that it's not enough just to have a sanctuary. It's not enough just to have a Mishkan. But really, something needs to be done with it. And we learn about the different types of Karbonas, the different types of offerings that, we, uh, that we're able to bring. And it kind of struck me how, in a sense, we really need to do something with the sanctuaries that we build. It's not enough just to bunker down and keep cozy ourselves, but we also need to do something and offer something, make a contribution with that, those resources and the blessings that we do have in our lives. It's fascinating how the second verse in this week's Pasha says, Adam ki yakriv mikem korban Hashem, when a person, a person, Adam, is quite strange how all the commentaries explain how the Pasha and this Pasuk begins with the word Adam, which is in the singular. When a single person wants to come forward and make a contribution, there's still a single person, still a single entity. Yet when the Torah actually concludes that very Pasuk, it says, Takrivu es korban chen, when the, you in the plural shall bring close your offering, the actual transformation of a single person into a collective whole is when a person is able to take which they, something which they have, something which they possess, and share it with others around them. I think that we're all so blessed with these wonderful resources that we do have in our lives. And I think that the transformation of becoming a person is not just so self-centered and so into their own situation, but has the ability to rise themselves over and above that and share that which they have and try and always be mindful of other people and other people's situations, whether it's making a call to somebody who might be alone at home, whether it's thinking about how you can still make an impact in the world, is really the transition from building our little Mishkan, our little Mikdash Ma'at in our families, finding a beautiful way to share that with other people around us in so many different multitudes of ways. Please God, everybody should just be able to find the strength of characters to stay strong, stay safe, and always, always continually think about other people and the contribution they can make. Have a blessed, great week ahead.